there guys this is Apollon gallery in the louvre that was featured in beyonce and jay-z latest video among other spectacular works of art but for what reason did they pay this astronomer sum to her world famous museum is there a special message conveyed in this footage if so what is it let's find out right now <laughs> It all starts in Galerie Apollon, Apollon Gallery, in the former royal palace that is now known as the Louvre Museum in Paris. The gorgeous hall was designed to celebrate the life and reign of famous king's son, Louis XIV. The decor and paintings symbolize the flight of time and the solar motion and their glory. No wonder that today royal jewels are kept in this gallery. Perfect way to open the video that speaks about a difficult way that was made by the people of African descent throughout the centuries so that now they can find themselves at the top of the hill. Well, at least that's what Jay-Z and Beyoncé represent, appearing here like a real king and queen at this palace. So you see, the first scene sets the tone for the video that's gonna be way more than just a basic showcase of art. And from subtle hints, they go straight to the most powerful message. Who doesn't know Mona Lisa by Da Vinci? It's the most recognizable painting in the world, and some say its estimated value is way over half a billion dollars. Beyoncé and Jay-Z appear here standing in front of the painting, looking confidently and calmly into the camera. Basically, just like Mona Lisa does, fascinating millions of people throughout centuries. Jay-Z and Beyoncé appear to have the same magnitude of their influence in the world of contemporary show business, being one of the most wanted and popular singers across the globe. That's what this play with Mona Lisa is all about. Ah, the same message is sent with the scene of Beyoncé in front of Nike, the Samothrace statue, dressed in the spirit of this Greek goddess. Winged victory of Samothrace crowns the triumphant status of the singers. And look at this sculpture! Beyoncé is dancing mainly with her arms in front of famous Venus de Milo, emphasizing that she has something the goddess of love hasn't, and this way proclaiming herself as the true Venus to admire. And now to the more provocative part. Beyoncé is dancing in front of one of the grandest paintings of Louvre, Coronation of Napoleon by Jacques Louis David. This artwork is the very picture of imperial neoclassical glory. Everything and everyone is so polished as the significance of the event prescribes. And here are the dancers of color, dressed like there is nothing on them, moving in that sensual oriental dance. What would Empress Josephine say if only she could imagine this scene being known as an active protagonist of reinstitution of slavery in French colonies? She would be definitely spinning in her grave. Off the old and on with the new. Anybody could be a queen now. Well, the queen of fashion at very least. Another signal of transformation of the role of the woman of color in today's reality is the demonstration of a splendid, famous portrait of Madame Recamier by, again, Jacques-Louis David. Perfectly classy, and she is now set against two other women, taking attention away from her. Another painting by Jacques-Louis David and another reference to women empowerment in the clip. Intervention of the Sabine woman shows a mythological episode where Rommel men abducted a bunch of women from their neighbor region. However, the artist reinvented the classical subject and showed it as if a beautiful woman, the wife of Rommel, is trying to stop the fight and the war with the power of love. Her and other women have brought their children in the center of the fight, this way trying to make men realize what's the true value of their life. And this love triumphing over conflict is the core theme of the Carter's new album. An interesting detail of this painting shows up later in the video. Seems like this gesture is a symbol of how minorities are many times perceived as a source of violence and danger, 
even if they are metaphorically standing still weaponless. It's very sad that people actually representing other than white races were historically put in very unfortunate life trajectories. These detailed close-ups from Paolo Veronese artwork focus on the image of rope as a symbol of slavery and then we see a dancer who kind of breaks up this hold to then dance freely. The similar message is sent with the showcase of this equestrian portrait by Theodore Géricault. The soldier is sitting on a horse on a skin of cheetah, symbolizing again the domination of white race on minorities and nature in the days of empire. And look at the background, looks like the soldier is trying to escape and save his precious life at the expense of lives of the ones he is grinding. However, the pinnacle of this racist rhetoric is shown with this drama painting by Theodore Jericho. The raft of the Medusa deserves a whole new video for itself, so I suggest that you just look through, well, Wikipedia to be really shocked by the subject matter. And the main refrain of the society inequality shows through no small way here. Want some more? This is the biggest painting in Louvre, Wedding Feast at Cana by Veronese. He depicted this Bible subject showing kind of a representation of his contemporary society. And the people of color are again barely noticeable slaves hidden somewhere at the background. So the whole idea is that Western art carefully erased minorities from the history, though they were actually in there. Unfair. True. But today, there is a chance for everyone. I can't believe we made it. This is what we made, made. This is what we thank for. And the portrait by Marie Guillaumin Benoit tops this footage. The model looks at us just like Mona Lisa does. She's no worse than her. No one is no worse than another. And everyone may now get to the top of the world. Beyonce and Jay-Z did. You can too. Thank you for watching. Art is amazing. See you very, very soon. Bye-bye.